Welcome back to another client product walkthrough. I'm Dustin Pankary, and today we're gonna to talk about the all new Rift bib. Now you've probably heard the name Rift before. That's because we've made the Rift jacket, which you see behind me here, for several years now. The Rift goes in our trail category. It's an insulated piece, but what it adds is our ascent float technology, which is it has flotation for the rider if they ever happen to go in the water. So if you're riding around water, whether it's lakes out throughout the Midwest or it's rivers in Alaska going from village to village, there's always a risk of potentially maybe going through the ice. And that's a scary thought. So we've produced pieces that have insulation and also foam in them to give you extra buoyancy. Now the Rift jacket alone, or even the bib alone, will give you enough extra buoyancy to keep you up. But if you combine the two together, that's gonna to give you the, the highest chance of staying afloat with the least amount of effort. Now the Rift uses a similar material to what we use in say our Tomahawk non-insulated pieces. It's a Gore-Tex two layer performance shell material. So guaranteed to keep you dry, breathable, moisture wicking, but in an insulated situation like this one, it's still gonna keep you warmer than a non-insulated piece. So let's talk about where the insulation is, where the foam is, how it's placed, to just kind of give you an understanding of how this works. So the Rift bib has 200 grams of insulation throughout the body, the legs of the bib, and then it has 100 grams on the upper torso portion of the bib where the jacket's gonna cover it. So it's not gonna get too warm there. In addition to that 200 grams or 100 grams of insulation, there's also that foam that gives it its buoyancy and that adds some insulation property as well, about 60 grams equivalent of insulation. Now the foam's not through the entire body of the bib. That would make it feel a little more stiff and a little boardy. What we've done is we've mapped the areas where we put that foam and if you ever get a chance, you're gonna wanna touch and feel it because you can actually feel where the foam is throughout uh, throughout the bib. It's in the areas where it's comfortable, but we didn't put it in the areas where we might need some articulation. The Rift also has a lot of other similar features that you'll see that are standard throughout our line. So for example, you've got the adjustable shoulder straps here. You've got the covered zipper flap in the front with access with a double zipper that goes up and down. You've got the D-ring to attach the tether to the rider. You've got side Velcro straps along the hips for comfort. We've got two hand pockets left and right here. Moving down, we've got uh, some reflective on the front. You'll see here at the bottom. And then if I spin them around, you'll also see at the back. We have overlays on the knees with kind of a beefier material because those are the impact and the wear zones. And then you'll also notice that there's overlays across the bottom as well on the insides where it would rub on the snowmobile. One thing that's really cool about our insulated pieces and this piece specifically is there's drainage built into the bottom of the hem. So there's actually a mesh hem and you can see that when you roll that hem up, it's all perforated around that. So that if you do happen to go in the water, that water has a way to get out of the garment and run all the way out as quickly as possible to start getting you dry and warm. Now the insulation inside the jacket is waterproof, it's not really gonna absorb the water so that that water will run out easier through that mesh hem. Now you'll notice that we still have the full length zipper on this piece like we do on all of our other bibs. It goes all the way up to the hip. This makes it easier for a person wearing boots to enter into the bib. I wear a size 13 and I can still get in and out of the bib just using those uh, side full length zippers. At the bottom, we have our gaiter with a Velcro enclosure. We also have our boot gaiter strap. It's designed to go up through the bottom loop on the bib, and that helps keep that bottom of the bib down. If you're stepping through snow and the snow is trying to push it up, it'll hold that down to the boot and it won't let that powder go up into the boot. And you'll see we've got added reflective with a cool K logo on the back. The ripped bib is available in black asphalt colorway, and it's available in sizes from small to 3X in the standard length, and then it's also available in some tall and short sizes, so we should have a rift bib to fit just about every body type. Now we do offer the float ascent technology, just like we have in the rift, in a women's version called the flare. You see I have the jacket here behind me. We also make a flare bib, so go check out that video out for more information there. 
We also have a very in-depth video describing the Rift jacket, and that video goes into a full explanation on how to self-rescue if you do fall in the water and kind of utilize that technology to your best advantage. So go check that video out. It'll give you all the details you need to know. You can find all this information on the Climb website, climb.com, and also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Hope to see you on the snow.